Hey everybody, this is Jacob from the Southern Outdoorsman and this is my kayak hunting setup. The whole kayak access has gotten really popular the last five to six years uh, from guys like Parker McDonald from Southern Ground Hunting and some other channels as well that use kayaks in replacement of say a bigger boat to get back in some areas that you really just can't get a big boat back into. And that's kind of how I use my Hobie. So I, my personal kayak that I use that's right here in front of us uh, and rigged up exactly pretty much how I use it for hunting uh, is a 2020 Hobie Pro Angler uh, 14, the 360. It's an expensive kayak, I'm not gonna lie guys. Uh, but I really like it both from a fishing and also hunting perspective. I use this quite a bit this year in Arkansas and you'll be able to see some of that footage in this video of going in and hunting different areas along some big river bottoms, uh, both islands, some backwater areas. And it was really, really nice to be able to use the kayak instead of having to try and deal with a big boat getting into those locations. But one thing about these kayaks that's really interesting, especially when you start getting to using kayaks for access for hunting, is how you're still be able to get all your gear in there nice and quietly, but you don't have to deal with carrying a trailer with you in a big boat, especially when you're going on some of these longer trips. Uh, again, like going to Arkansas is a very long trip for us, you know, hundreds of hundreds of miles getting over there. And it's nice to be able to throw the kayak in the back of the truck and not having to worry about dealing with a trailer for logistic purposes. Now, my personal kayak here, this Hobie, I, I load it down. I definitely am not an ultralight hunter when it comes to what I take into the woods. On the back of the kayak, and you can see this, is I keep my backpack back there along with my saddle setup and sticks. Uh, you can also throw you know, a tree stand on the back if you're using a lock-on or climber. It works very perfectly for that. But I also keep a game cart in here. And this game cart is an El Cheapo game cart uh, I got from an outdoor store. And it's really handy for having back in here, especially in some of these areas that we hunt that maybe I just don't want to have to quarter the deer right then and there and bone it out and pack it out. Uh, maybe I want to get that deer back whole just because either the location I'm at or regulations and having the game cart in the back fits really, really nicely with this setup. So it allows me to keep everything back here nice and organized, it's nice and secure. And then when I do get a deer down, I'm able to again, pop the uh, game cart off and go directly into where I've shot the deer, get it back to the cart and also, one thing very interesting about these Hobie kayaks, and you also have this like with New Canoe and a couple other brands is you have a very high weight capacity. This kayak personally has a 650 pound weight capacity, which is amazing, not only because you know I'm not the smallest dude in the world, but also be able to pack all your gear in and get a full size mature buck out, no problem at all. Uh, I was able to do that this year in Arkansas, absolutely zero issues putting the buck over the back of the kayak. Actually right where my backpack's at, that's where I had the buck and then I had the backpack directly behind my seat. One must have I use when I'm actually hunting out of a kayak, especially if it's a, a firearm hunt and using a, you know, a muzzleloader or a rifle, is I always carry a neoprene uh, gun case for my, for my rifle or muzzleloader, which I have in the kayak. I keep it tucked right up against me. It's pretty secure. Um, just again, be able to keep it kind of protected from getting you know, wet, uh, getting in and out of the kayak. Uh, but also just keeping it where it's a little more protected from, especially mud. That's one thing you don't really realize until you start hunting out of a kayak is how much mud you deal with. I still got a bunch of mud in this kayak from our last hunting trip. Um, and you definitely don't want mud down in the barrel of the gun on the optics or especially your bow too. You don't want mud on the cams. You don't want mud anywhere on that bow. Um, so having it nice and protected is a, is a really big deal for me. Uh, with the bow, normally I'll put it right behind my seat just so I don't have it in my way. And again, keeps it nice and dry and no mud gets on the, the actual bow itself. Also must have, in my opinion, for using a kayak, is uh, rubber boots. So these are my rubber boots here. These are the Viper stops from Dry Shod. I've been using those boots for about three years now. You gotta have rubber boots out of a kayak. I've tried to hunt with lace up boots. And I do like a hiking boot for a lot of the other hunting we do, but in a kayak specifically, I really like having uh, knee boots. There are times when you might uh, hunt a spot, especially along some of the bigger rivers, where you have a lot of cut banks, where the banks are extremely steep and, and really muddy. And in those cases, there's been times where I really kind of wish I had hip waders, um, just because when you step off onto the, the bank, quote unquote, uh, you can sink a good ways down, but also it's pretty deep in those areas. And having hip boots that come all the way up again to you know your inner thigh, uh, would be a huge help in those areas, especially if you're dealing again with those cut banks where it's really steep and kind of deeper waters. Now in the front of the kayak, I also put uh, some extra layers. So sometimes, you know, I have my backpack, you know, full of some clothes, especially when you start getting the later November, it starts getting cool. Uh, but I also will keep an extra, you know, jacket or pair of pants in the front hatch of the kayak 
just in case if I get wet, if I need a change in something, um, or keep extra base layers in there as well, in case again, I, I need to be able to change in the heat of the moment uh, after getting in or coming out of the woods. One other aspect to um, a pedal drive kayak, which again, this Hobie is a pedal drive kayak system, is I always carry an extra paddle. So this is a one-sided paddle, almost like more like a canoe paddle than an actual kayak paddle. I use that for a couple of reasons. Just in case I've ever had issues with the drive, the pedal drive, again, I have a way to be able to get back to the boat ramp or to the truck, but also just be able to push yourself off uh, items as you're going through, especially if you're around a lot of timber um, or if you're just trying to get in and off the bank, uh, be able to push yourself off is really nice instead of having to kick yourself off uh, with your boots uh, in the water where you have a chance to get wet as well. In, kayaks like this that have the pedal system, pedal drive system, um, whether they use this fins like the Hobie or use more of a propeller style uh, propulsion. Um, this, especially when you're shallow water, you'll be able to push yourself off instead of again, you know, hitting the bottom with your uh, pedal drive system or again, getting wet with your boots, trying to get in the water and push the kayak off. Also an absolute must have, and I see people that don't do this and it kind of has a pet peeve of mine, is wear a life jacket. Don't go hunting in your kayak and not have a freaking life jacket. It's really dumb. Um, I don't know why it's such a big deal for some people to wear life jackets uh, while hunting out of a kayak, but again, it's a must have in my opinion. Have a life jacket on, take a couple extra layers off so you know that life jacket keeps you warm uh, if it's cold, but have your life jacket on when you're going in and out on your kayak. Um, just in case something was to happen. If you were to hit something and uh, get thrown in the water, um, you're, you're gonna wanna have a life jacket on. And again, I highly recommend having a life jacket. Also, a super important thing to have with your kayak system when you're gonna be hunting out of a kayak is a really, really good headlight. Um, there's a bunch of different brands in the market. Again, just find something. I like something that's over 400 lumens if, per, if possible, that also has an adjustable uh, beam on it. So I can really make it super tight and extremely bright for long distance. And to me, that's more of a thing when you're in more open water where you need to be able to see if there's any, you know, down trees you're gonna be coming up on, sandbar, stuff like that from a distance where I can still see three, 400 yards on a clear sky. But also realize if you're gonna be using a kayak, you're gonna be dealing with foggy conditions a lot of the time. If you are dealing with fog, your best bet is to turn your headlight off and use either the moon or have like your Onyx pulled up on your phone and look at it as you're going to kind of navigate those waterways. So that has it guys. This is my kayak set that I personally use for hunting. It is amazing when you start using kayaks to access, you know, public land, what kind of opportunities you can have. Um, we're gonna do some more, you know, content on this and answer any other questions y'all may have. Um, especially when it comes to actually the hunting and how to access locations and setting up using water to your advantage. But again, if y'all have any other questions, go leave them down in the comments below. Let us know what you would like to see, what you'd like to hear from us and all their video ideas. We appreciate y'all watching this. So we'll catch y'all back on the next video from the Southern Outdoorsman.